On a night where actually, let's be honest, they didn't play particularly well, but I suppose that says even more about them that they've won this without being <laughs> at their best. Well, if you win the tournament not playing well, then you've, you're a good team. But it has to be said that Chile, in my opinion, they, they handed the game to Germany in the end. Yeah, the mistakes that Chile made and the chances they had, I think they had 20 chances to Germany's eight. I think it was um, a shame that they ended the tournament like that because that, I think they deserved better. Um, but the German side, you know, you give them any sort of chance and they will, they will finish you off. And they did that. The goal was down to a mistake. Medell knocks it back. Diaz gets it on the edge of the box, got so much time and what he's doing here, he knows he's going to get closed down the edge of the box and Werner just sets up Stindl for a little tap -in. It's almost like he's got too many options here, you know, you can play out, mm. you can play to the keeper, you can go longer, you can miss it out. To, to turn and not know your bearings or, or that, awareness of where you are on yeah, the pitch. That, that was moment. an option as well, to try and dribble past all the German <laughs> players, but it was the wrong one. <laughs> it was not a wise option. This, as much about the teams and the logistics with the World Cup in mind next year, yeah. this was about VAR and road testing that with the World Cup in mind. We have to say, if, if this were an exam, VAR's it, it's, a, it's a fail, isn't it, really? I, I, I'm feeling a little bit ashamed because I think all the other sports that use VAR, rugby, um, cricket or, or whatever system they're using, we're the laughing stock now because th this tournament has been a shambles as far as VAR is concerned, absolute shambles. How many times we've used it, how many times we've got it wrong. And tonight, I was actually joking, saying, I bet he gives him a yellow after yep. looking at it as a joke, thinking he can't possibly, it has to be a red. It's not even a red, it's a purple. It's yep. so it's so obvious. I mean, he goes across Yara, and that, how... OK, fair enough, he might not see it from his angle. So he's done the right thing. He's, watch this. Now he's, had a, he's seen that angle from the replay. How that is a yellow card in anybody's book, I'm so it's it. violent conduct is what Absolutely. he was sent off This for. angle here, though, you say he hasn't seen it. Look at the referee on this angle yeah. here. I mean, this is what VR takes away. It takes away the gut reaction of the referee. From that angle, he can clearly see... Yara's it's a clapping. Yeah, because he knows he's got away with it, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it takes away from the referee mm. actual natural instinct in the game to see the incident, know what the end result is and, and administer the, the correct... Well, it was interesting because when it's happened, we thought, oh, you know, he might have been on the blind side, not seen yeah. it all. He's going to use VAR. That's good. It seems to make sense. This is what it's here for. So he'll, have, he'll run to the touchline, see the replay. There has to be a red card that follows. Maybe he's left his red card in the dressing room or something <laughs> because that is absolute... To, to, to only give a yellow there, as I said, they must be looking at other sports must be looking at us and saying what a joke football is but the people up in the in the box viewing it as well who are clearly have a radio link to him mm -hmm. how can they all look at that as well and not think that that's a red card it's it's, it's beyond all of them yeah. get them all put them in a van drive them <laughs> off somewhere because that's not good enough well that, that this is what we'll talk more about var in the last part as well the the, the misses and the successes there have been more of the former it must be said lots of chances for chile in that second half as well lee talked about 20 attempts on goal throughout the game. These are the second half chances. Bolt them all together. They'll be sitting in the change room thinking, how on earth have we not taken at least one of these? Well, I think we said at half-time as well, it's encouraging for Chile because they've created chances and, the, and they had the better chances. This one, Vidal, I mean, he's just leaning back for a player that quality. Pooch does brilliantly well here to keep the ball in play and then the sub will just come on. Segal, pretty much Segal. his first touch. Yeah, leaning back. And they, they, and they weren't half chances, they were really good. They, and as defenders, you like what the Germany did there? It, it was clever because we all thought, and the probability was that, that Sanchez was going to do the same free kick, that bendy one over the wall, but the opposite side of the keeper, mm. which is mm. a real threat to go in. Just before he set off to do it, yeah. the German defender dropped to the line and it, I think it just changed his mind to have to go the other side and to Stegen dealt with it. OK, we'll go back to St Petersburg. They've got to get it right in world football. And if at the World Cup next summer a British team is on the, the wrong end of a decision and VAR hasn't rectified it, then we'll never hear the end of it. And Matthew, of course, was playing in a famous game in Bloemfontein when VAR goal line technology, you would have loved that because it would have been 2 all and England would have won 4-2. Oh, it, it, it would have helped the result no end. <laughs> OK, okay here's, here's our top five, then, in the rogues gallery of VAR from the last fortnight. This is the very first game, and we thought... Perfect opportunity to see it in action, Lee. Is it a penalty? Takes it round the goalkeeper. We weren't too sure, so great. But just watch the knee on the right of Palotz. Definite penalty. Ball goes out of play. Referee doesn't refer. Exactly. 
Referee what? doesn't refer. This is the one we were referring to, and so was Clive in commentary. In extra time of the semi-final, Font fouls Silva. But the, 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 there's a player appealing immediately, so, so that wasn't yeah. right. There was definitely somebody appealing, but so they got that one wrong as that well. That wasn't referred. This is the, the New Zealand-Mexico game. This, this is brilliant. This is, this is more like the All Blacks than New Zealand, isn't it? <laughs> there is a right old dust-up at the end. Yes, it's, it's, it's brilliant how the referee sees all this. There's major commotion, there's loads of offences going on, he comes back and just books one player and then carries on with the game after spending five minutes viewing Well, he comes evidence. back, books one player, that and then goes back race. and has another look and books two well, more. He restarted the game, and I think yeah. somebody told him, well, no, you need to, need to book more than that. Yeah. But, yeah, it could have easily been a sending off in that one. Yeah, this is tonight. Well, so well this is, we've this seen is... this how many times? If he yeah. did that on the street, the police would have something to say about that. <laughs> yeah, that's, no, Yara that's just <laughs> on Werner, and the referee has a look at it, but says it's a yellow card, which doesn't make any sense. Unbelievable. How you can view that on a video screen and think it's a yellow is... This is classic. Yeah. Mistaken identity. <laughs> There's the tackle. Look at the shirt number, number two. Yep. He's looking straight at the number. He obviously gets it wrong. Can I have a look at it? He walks over, he sends the wrong Cian player Cianne off. Ciani is sent off. I'll, I tell you what, I'll go and have a look at it, because that'll clear everything up. And he comes back on, his red card. And Mabuka eventually goes. Whether you think it was a red card or not, it's not the point. It's a mistaken identity is one of the things it's supposed to clear up. Work to be done, Mark. What are we going to do about it, then? I, that's a very good question. It's a question you should probably ask the, uh, the, the FIFA... Uh... Do you want it? Do you want to see it? If they, oh, you know, they, this was the chance to, to iron it out. As it, in its present form, do you want to see it at the World Cup? I, I think, in theory, it's a valuable tool, but we say ironing it out, I think it needs more time. If they're going to get it right, it needs more time. It's not as simple as just throwing it into a tournament. It's the first one. For me, the referees look a bit stuck with it. They, they just don't look like they've got the confidence no. to use it properly and also to back their own decisions without it. It looks like they've lost confidence in their decisions and, and then they're, they're going off and they're kind of mentally, they're just in, in a daze for me. I don't think... I... <laughs> They can't use it as it is now. If that goes no. into the World Cup now, because they can't test it anywhere else now, that was the test. Mm. If it goes into the World Cup like that, it's going to be... I think it's going to be a farce. So the, the, the way to improve it is to the communication between the referees and the guys upstairs and the people watching somehow, like it is in rugby, so you can actually see what's happening, you're here, what... Cos sometimes... Well, that's we, the key, we must be able to hear it. Surely we've got to hear the conversation. Absolutely. Absolutely got to be able to hear that conversation. I think it would be hugely improved if the referee didn't have the ability to go off and look at a screen himself. I don't understand why the referee needs to do that. If you've got people in a room viewing it for you and giving you radio information, yeah. and, like I said, we can hear that information, so we understand what they're discussing, they can make that decision for him, and it takes that pressure from him going to the sideline with 80,000 people. I've got it. <laughs> Refer it. Take the ref off the pitch. <laughs> Put him upstairs with the tellies, watching it from above so he's got a better view, and then a loud hailer tells the players what's going so on. So referee from the stands. Absolutely. Well, a lot of it's people want to do that. Yeah.